There's an estimated 24,000 people who come to HoopFest every year. Thousands competing for that coveted championship trophy. Sports director Julian Minnesone joins us live to tell us why winning a HoopFest title would be extra special for one particular athlete. Thank you, Jordan. Well, here at HoopFest, athletes come in all shapes and sizes. Some are young, some are tall, and some are on wheels. Some of the best wheelchair basketball players will be on display this weekend. And for one athlete in particular, her disability gives her the capability to motivate others. Chelsea McClammer has never let her disability slow her down. I've always said, if I don't have fun with a sport anymore, then I'll stop doing it, and that hasn't happened yet. There was a time when playing sports didn't seem possible. I was in a car accident when I was six, um, so now I'm a full-time wheelchair user. Chelsea was paralyzed from the waist down. I was the only kid in my school with a disability. It was just kind of like lack of accessibility, even on the playground. That was until Chelsea found Parasport Spokane, an adaptive sports program for athletes with disabilities. Getting involved with Parasport really showed me that like, yeah, I can do these sports along with all the other kids my age. Adaptive sports have taken Chelsea all over the world. She's a three-time Paralympian in track. And now she's competing for a new title. Fest champion. It would be really awesome just to say that we've won the biggest three-on-three -three tournament, outdoor tournament in the world. For Chelsea, the trophies and medals mean nothing unless it brings disability off the sidelines. I hope it encourages people to be more inclusive, also give somebody else like encouragement and hope that there are really cool, incredible things that they can do. And for Chelsea, this is her seventh time playing in Hoop Fest. She's still trying to win that first championship, but with that attitude, I'd say she's got a pretty good shot. Live at Hoop Fest 2023, Julian Minnenzone, 4 News Now Sports. Yeah, we're all inclined to agree with you there, Julian. Thanks for that. A great story by you.